most people can't go to college without some kind of financial aid. And you can't get most kinds of aid without taking a step a lot of folks seem to be ignoring right now. KDK's Harrisburg Bureau reporter Seth Kaplan has the details. Yeah, it's called the FAFSA. It's been around forever, including when you could only fill it out on a paper form like this. A lot of us did that. Not as many are doing it anymore, and that is a problem. It's a gateway to higher education. Slippery Rock uh, it, University it President Bill Berry talking about the free application for federal student aid, otherwise known as the FAFSA. Without it, uh, many students uh, in the Commonwealth and beyond uh, would not have access to higher education. And now many don't have it because fewer are filling out the FAFSA. And millions of dollars have been left on the table for our Pennsylvania learners. PA Deputy Secretary of Education Tanya Garcia. Students need to fill out the FAFSA to get aid, including grants they never have to pay back. That includes our Pennsylvania State Grant Program, our Ready to Succeed Scholarship Program, and others. This FAFSA GO event held here because SRU does a relatively good job getting its students to fill out the FAFSA. Over 90% of our incoming freshmen do file the FAFSA and file on time. Including Kayleen and Alyssa there. But the problem actually starts in high school when students need to first fill out the FAFSA to get aid as they start college. So we're asking high school counselors and post-secondary admissions and financial aid administrators, as well as community-based organizations to help us ensure that every student who is eligible to complete a FAFSA gets the assistance they need to do so. And these days, this paper form is just a backup. It's easy to fill out online. Easy to find online, too, if you just do a web search for FAFSA. If you can't find it, we've got a link on our CBS Pittsburgh app and website. In Pittsburgh, Seth Kaplan, KDKA News.